What's going on everybody? Today we're going to talk about coloring with drop fills in Procreate. As you can see to start this, I just wanted to go over how it works with using a textured brush and some people have asked me. You can see I tried to drop into the smiley face with just one pass of the textured brush. That doesn't really work because it's not a solid line. So you'll see here in a second I go back to show you how I do that. So typically I'll duplicate my line art like multiple times, like 10 times, and then flatten it all but the original layer. And this gives me a solid shape. So when I want to fill it by setting it to a reference layer, you can see here now that it works fine. Just like that. So now we're going to get into the actual part of the video that shows me using the dropper to color an illustration I did on a stream. We just wanted something simple, something to kind of show the process and kind of not deal with anything else. Um, I used a completely solid brush on this one, which is a little bit different than what I normally draw with, but again, for the purposes of this tutorial, we just wanted to keep it simple. So you can see the drawing here, I have my all gray flat base. I'm going to set my line art to a reference layer, which means it'll take those lines into account for every layer around it. So when you're coloring in, you can just drop in from the color picker right to the sections you want, as long as they're all closed off. So you'll see here, boom, drop it right into the skull. And since it's all closed off, there's no gaps in the line art for the different sections. It just fills right in. So you'll see me as I go through this, just kind of dropping into each section over and over and over. And I'm gonna do this for the entirety of this character. So I recorded the process of filling in this character in real time on a live stream over the course of the last few days. Um, it's pretty simple stuff, but I know a lot of this, this knowledge is sort of taken for granted by folks who have been drawing with these programs and doing digital art for a long time. And I've gotten a few questions about how I do it, so I figured I would put together a super simple, a super basic tutorial for like beginner level stuff for people who don't know which is what this is. Now I'm gonna do this for all the flat colors, dropping them in, and then I'm just gonna let the video play out as I kind of keep doing that for the rest of the thing with the highlights and the shadows, and you'll see a little bit of like blending and stuff in here. I can do another tutorial on that if people want, but for the purposes of this video, it's just for the color picking, so the rest of this is gonna be sped up to get to the finished art at the end. So you can see I'm using a new layer for every section of color. So what this does is make it easier for myself when I'm gonna do my shadows and things later on. Um, also, once you set your line art to reference, as I mentioned earlier, all the other layers under it are going to keep that line art in, like taken into account. So you don't have to do it multiple times. Once you set that as a reference, you're good to just drop your colors in and keep going until that's done. So you'll see there real quick what happened is I dropped the color in, but I hit it, it hit the line art instead of the open area. And that's how you get that weird kind of little like halo-y effect around the section with the color you're dropping in. So just undo it, make sure you hit the section and not the lines and you're good to go. So now I'm getting into the shadows and the highlights and stuff here. So the rest of the video is gonna go pretty quick. It's just gonna be kind of like sped up time lapse until the drawing's done but that's basically it just make sure your lines and your sections are closed off with a solid line or a heavily duplicated um, line if you're using a textured brush 
outside of that that's pretty much it i will have a write-up to go along with this video on patreon if you learn better with like written out things but yeah feel free to follow me on twitter you can ask me any questions on there i'll try and answer as best i can and hopefully this video helps you out so i'll see y'all in the next one peace